Hey guys, it's John and Kimmy. We're back. It's been what, three years? No, we just finished the last game yesterday. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. We just um, forgot to edit and post. <laughs> yes. This is we're recording this in 2019. <laughs> um, so yeah, welcome to our playthrough of Zero Time Dilemma. This is a highly anticipated playthrough by many people. We're happy to uh, disappoint you with this <laughs> with this game uh, if you oh, haven't no. seen it. So we have played nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Nine, nine, nine. On the channel. Uh -huh. We have played Virtue's Last Reward on the channel. Yep. And this is the third game in the Zero Escape series, the Zero Escape trilogy. It is a direct sequel to Virtue's Last Reward. It literally picks up where uh, Virtue's Last Reward leaves off. Okay. And if you don't remember what happened in Virtue's Last Reward, you're in good company because... We super don't remember. I, I don't even remember. And I've played through Virtue's Last Reward twice. Once by myself and once with Kimmy. All right. And I even I've forgotten most things. And uh, yeah, so... I remember a desert at one point. There, there was a desert. Very good. <laughs> A lot of puzzles. <laughs> so, but don't worry, because we've got you covered. We talked about the Titanic. That was 999, but Damn. close. <laughs> but if you've forgotten what happens in 999 and VLR, no worries. We've got you covered because uh, there's a video in the description that you can watch. It's 12 minutes long, so not that long. It's not like an hour video essay or anything. 12 minutes long that will recap you on what happens in the first two games. And we are about to watch it. We won't be watching it together, so just take a quick break, watch that video, and then we'll reconvene here. Sounds good. Okay. Break. So, okay, so. That was so much more convoluted. The I, second game, like the first game, was a simpler story. But the second game. Well, yeah. The first game, 999, was kind of like a self-enclosed en game. And uh, Virtue's Last Reward was like the second game in a trilogy, you know? It's so weird <clears throat> to be going back to this after everything that's happened. Because the last time we played any of these games was before the pandemic. Yes, true. And it's, it's very strange true. to be like coming back before, to this world. Before the pandemic. Yeah. You know, on a on a somber note, like my father was still alive and you know, we weren't pregnant. Right. We yeah, we lots of things. We weren't married. We weren't married. We lived in a different place. We weren't married last playthrough. Yeah. Like it's yeah, just Yeah, lived in a different place. Yeah, a lot of things have changed. Our lives have changed quite dramatically since then. Including other stuff we can like we don't want to talk about, but it's just like I don't know. It's it's yeah. just very strange. I didn't expect it to kind of hit me like that but that second story that second game is okay so, so just to like let's, let's work through it a little bit okay, okay so in the first game nine and nine that's about akane who is uh -huh. zero yes. setting up a game basically to save herself in the past right through junpei right? right so it's kind of a that, that one's pretty similar like like simple to boil down right virtue's last reward is a game 45 years in the future after right. 999. Akane's an old woman now, and she's kind of like co-zero with Sigma, the person that we're playing as. Right. Who is actually an old guy, but you don't know that because you never see your reflection and right. nobody ever... Some people call you old... Like, Fi calls you an old man, but she's just like a sassy girl, right? Right. Um, it's played very well. Yeah. The way that they hid that was done very, very well. In yeah. The game. And the reason that you're putting this nonary game together in VLR is to jolt you and Phi specifically. Sigma, Sigma's younger body. Uh huh. Sigma's clone. Right. And Phi, 45 years to the past. Right. To the Nevada desert which is where Radical 6 was first unleashed onto the world. So, cause, cause, cause Radical 6 has, has devastated Earth. Right. Like in this, in this dystopian future of VLR, right? And so the, the, the events of, of VLR 
are, are made so that like, we can go back and we can prevent this from ever happening by going back to where Radical 6 was unleashed in the Nevada desert. So is that what we're that's about what to play? Yes, that's what we're about to play. Oh, that's so cool. So we are about to, like, literally, we're going to be in the Nevada desert. Right. Yeah. Trying to prevent Trying Radical 6. Trying to prevent six. Radical 6 from being We get unleashed. to hear all about Radical 6 again. Yeah. Now, Good. it's worth knowing that Radical 6 was the main, like, weapon, chemical weapon used by Free the Soul. Free the Soul is, like, basically a terrorist organization. Okay. And it's led by Brother. Right. And Who so. Who hates humanity because his Wants little, to kill everyone. Because Left was murdered. Yes, his yes, brother. his mysterious brother left. And you'll find out more about brother and left in in this game yeah. and free the soul. I mean, we'd have to. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I think that. Okay. Are, are we pretty much caught up? Are you satisfied? I do. I do feel satisfied. Okay. I feel like I have I'm, enough information to start this. I'm fuzzy on the details. I I, I guarantee yeah. you though that no matter. Okay, just from what I remember about playing this game, let me just get some things off my chest real quick. Yeah, for sure. Prepare so to be disappointed. Okay, I have played this. Okay. But it's been four years. I think I played it in 2018. 2019, oh, that's right. Maybe 2019. But yeah. it's it's been several years, so I'm fuzzy on the details in this one. Mm -hmm. But for one thing, the art style of this game is very jarring. Oh, so no, just not get again. Right. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's very jarring. Because 999 has a great art style, and yes. I think VLR took some getting used to, but... I, I just remember how jarring VLR was compared to 999, so the fact that it's going to be jarring no, again... You're, you're going you're gonna to be... Ugh. That's going to be you. Uh, and also, the game starts... It, it just... The game just... They just jump right in. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be... It, it's Zero Time Dilemma. I would say there are some great parts in it, but they take a while to get to. Okay. And you kind of have to wade through some of the jarring beginning sections because, like, it starts off really not great for the what, what the game is. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So just keep that in mind is what I'm saying. We're I'm all starting saying, this together. I'm not saying this to put anyone off, but mostly just saying it to like prepare prepare you yeah. so that you don't get five minutes in and you're like this is. Garbage. I it, hate this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because there are good okay. things about it. There are some good parts, but yeah, it's they they tried something experimental, I think, and it it's hit or miss. Um, Which you know, kudos to them for trying something different. Yeah, definitely. Um, Which when you're already dealing with a story as just mentally intense as this one in terms of like trying to piece it together i feel like you don't need to experiment too much yeah because it's already a lot also but that's just that's just what i think just one other thing about this game is that it is going to get very confusing because it's not a linear story you'll see what i mean in the first few sections am i gonna need like a board with like yarn and tape they, and they, pictures they'll and... provide that for you oh Don't my god <laughs> um <laughs> i'm so ready for this yes it's it's just very confusing but it is very unique i will say it's a very unique game okay so i'm excited now one thing i thought about doing there was a guide on the steam forums that i used when i played where you could go through the sequences in chronological order okay like somebody worked out which ones came in which order and you could play through them chronologically. Now, kudos to them. Wow. I was looking at it cuz I was like maybe we should use this guide for this playthrough. But I think maybe we should just just play it. Just play it. I want to see I don't I don't think it'll be that different honestly. And I and I played through it chronologically the first time. Okay. So I I don't think it'll be that different. I think because I was still confused. Yeah. Yeah. If playing chronologically didn't help significantly, it, it, then let's just it's jump still in. It's still jarring. You'll still enter scenes where you're like, I don't know what's going on. Where is right. everybody? What's happening? Yeah. Okay. That sounds so. like most of my experience with the other two games. Yeah. So. Hang on one second. Fine. Let me capture cursor. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We're happy to be here. Uh, playing this with y'all. Um, 
thank you for your patience over the last yeah, sorry several years sorry it took so long but we just we're here now we and weren't that's what matters. able to sync up for a while for a lot of different reasons but yeah yeah we're here now but we're here now we're doing it this is part of our preparing for baby <laughs> preparing for baby we're, we're getting we're getting some of our ducks in a row and this is one of the ducks that's right so which by the way We've been wiggling and kicking, so baby. Oh, ready. baby's here too, baby baby's wolf. Ready. Baby, ready. Okay, I'm gonna hit new game. Oh, baby's first video. <laughs> baby's <Sorry>. first video. <laughs> zero time dilemma. It's zero time dilemma. <laughs> Poor kid. This kid doesn't stand a chance. This is so funny. All right. Well, uh, yeah. With that 30 minute intro out of the way. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start a new game, and we're just gonna be thrown right into it. So. All right. Buckle your seatbelts, everyone. Okay. Nevada test site. Okay. Hey, open up. So it's like building Q. Okay, December 31st, 2028. Oh, it's coming this? up. Shit. What's wrong with you? Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did it. this thing come from? Forget it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Nothing to do but ask whoever did, did this to let us out. Huh? The mastermind's Maybe. right there. That kid locked us up. So he was the one who put these on us? person also not hating the art style <laughs> really yeah like it's different for sure but i don't hate it maybe it's because i played this back to back with vlr but yeah that would have been very jarring it's very like Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Do we get something if we get it right? You think I, I promise that I will release all of you. And what if we're wrong? You won't lose. You will have to stay in the game until at least six of you are dead. What? Let's go with blue. It's red. Right, red. It's gotta be red. 50-50 chance. And the odds for each are the same. Then we should vote. Thanks, Wait. five. I can't believe you guys. Akane's right. You're just going to oh. do what he says? What do you think, Carlos? You are the leader of this group. I will take your decision as everyone's final answer. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. Pink, red or blue. It's blue. So what do you say, Carlos? I'm gonna say red. I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him!
time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. So you think the red? Of the world yeah. Rests on your decision. Why not? Red means scary. <laughs> time to decide. <laughs> Wait, Carlos is blue. Does that mean it's blue? Oh, no. No, it's just photo negative. I know. I'm just kidding. So you want to pick red? Yeah. So first of all, I just want to say... It doesn't matter what you choose, right? Well, no, no, no. No, there's, there's so many questions in this opening sequence for me. I think it's really bizarre. So you know that, like, we know about half of the characters and we don't know the other half. Right. So Akane is that one girl. Fai yes. is the one who is like, oh, funny, funny. Uh, funny, funny chance. The odds are the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, so Socrates. Um, was uh, Clover in no. there? Okay, I didn't think so. Was the guy who's sitting there all smug on the ground? Is that Junpei? That's Junpei. He's such a dick. He's a dick, right? What? He's happened? a dick. Why is he a dick now? He's such a sarcastic, just like. <laughs> He's like. So what happens if we win? <laughs> like, oh my god, he sucks. Yeah. Um, he like read a Nietzsche book in between 999 and ZTD, and now he's yeah. a nihilist or something. Exactly. Uh, and Sigma's in there too. So Sigma, Sig Sigma's, Sigma's the one like the this. guy with the 18 or, on his it's arm. It's technically okay. Sigma's clone, I think, that was sent back in time 45 years. Right. So he has robot arms, right? Or no, it's not It's not Sigma's clone. No, 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 he doesn't have robot arms. It's not Sigma's clone. Sigma's consciousness went from his old body back to his new young body, body. His young body. So yeah, so, the, the, so the young Sigma's consciousness either got like pushed out or I can't remember what the rules are. But yeah, so they're in there. Carlos, we don't know who Carlos yeah, is. Yeah, he's new. We don't know who the other three are. Or the, masked the person. Bo Boobs McGee and right. whiny guy and right. masked kid. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. What do you remember? What color you chose? No, I don't. Okay. Let's well, go we'll red. I just wanted to catch this up because I think this is a really bizarre opening sequence. It like, really when is. When I when I load in, I was just like. Well, I kept I, thinking, like, who I are thought, we playing as? Because I thought that we were going to get thrown back into, like, an everyday scenario. But it's right. like, it's like instead, Phi and Sigma get thrown back. Ugh. And it's like they wake up in this jail cell. And it's like, well, what happened? Yeah, we're just but here now. That's not quite what happens. I think they just, like, push you forward into the scenario. Right. I don't know. Anyway. Red? Yeah. Let's see what happens. It's made. Oh, no. Red. He's so confident. <gasps> Good job. See? Oh yeah, Didn't and her. her. Red? Not 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 boobs uh, yeah, McGee, the other girl. <laughs> Jim made such an ass. Well done, Carlos. Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It was just luck. I had a 50% chance. Yeah. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec. Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? <laughs> I'm a fan person. I promised to release you, and I shall. Ah, but before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you win. I'm going to, have to reduce the forget? music's uh, volume. It's really yeah. loud. Especially over his. Yeah, voice. well, that's just how he's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it shows the vent and then they all just collapse. Yeah. I know. You're. What does Carlos know? What does Carlos know? All right. That's the game. That's what everyone's been waiting almost four years for. Mm hmm. Payoff. So coincide is the first word. Yeah. Like it's like where all their timelines are coinciding, I guess. I guess. I want to see if I can. Payoff. No, I can't. I was good. Okay, so this is this is me before. Like I said, I'm fuzzy on the details, so. Yeah, I forget hey, what time. Hold on. Why are we outside? Oh, this is after they fell asleep. I have no clue. 
When I oh. woke up, we were on the ground over there. Huh? What is it? Didn't we all have something attached to our left wrists? Hmm. Huh. I suppose we might have. Coin. Huh? Nothing. I just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped, falling. Ah, uh, come to think of it. I will say, this game does a much better job of not repeating itself over and over and over again like VLR did. Damn, yeah. I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. From what I remember. Neither can I. Somehow feels like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did... <laughs> Is that your Sigma? Yeah. <laughs> hey, made a bet. Could I ask all of it's you like he's, something? He can't smile. Yeah. He's got that Who filter on. Who is this kid? <laughs> I'm just a kid. <laughs> oh. And fade to black. Okay. Payoff. That's the payoff. I wonder how heavy that mask thing is. I know, right? Well, that was oh, zero wow. time dilemma. They really <laughs> start with the credits, huh? That's that's an ending that we just got. Because we got the red coin. All right, so there's our first ending. Red. <laughs> yeah, that's the first. That that's that's a, it, this isn't a fake out. That's an ending. Glad we got that basically, out of the way. Basically, like, we did nothing, and Radical 6 is just gonna get released anyway, and the whole world's gonna die. Yeah, like, so what's the point of us being there if, like, are we supposed to be trying to stop we're, it? We're, tr we're trying to stop it, yeah. That's the whole reason why Akane, oh, why Akane, Junpei, Sigma, and Fi are there. I don't know about these other Jokers. Right. But that's, that's why they're there. So... <sighs> Here, let me uh, let me turn down the the music. Yeah, CQD and one. Done and done. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Don't look. <laughs> Wait, this is this is what we. Okay, sorry. There's a couple save files here. Save data. Yes. Okay. Um, hang on, real quick. Now it's time to choose. Whose fate you will follow first? Select a team to continue story. Okay, so. Select a team? Yes, so C team is Carlos's team. Okay. Q team is. Question child. Yeah, question mark, I guess. D is Di Diana's team. Now Diana's team, if from I remember, Diana's team is Sigma and Phi and Diana. Okay. Carlos is Carlos Junpei and Akane and Q's team is... Is it just Q? No, no, no. It's uh, uh, a Boobs McGee and Annoying Guy. Um, I want to say his name is Eric. He looks like... Um, oh, what is his name? He's got a great name. The guy who plays the stoner in Cabin in the Woods. Uh, oh, oh, uh, Frank Krantz. Yeah, Frank, yeah. Frank Krantz. He looks like him a little so here's, bit. Here's the flow chart. Which makes me like him more. Yeah. Um, so hang on one second. How do I get how do I get to the main menu real quick? I'd like to do that. Can, Can I quit? I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. Yeah, Return quit. time. I'm just gonna just real quick, I'm gonna turn down the music because it's really loud. And also, I don't know if you've noticed this, but they're um you can also turn the voices up too. Yeah, but they're all they're already pretty high. I'll turn SFX down. There we go. Okay. You doing okay? Yeah, I just... I feel like I'm getting stretched out Everyone right here. comfortable in the world's most comfortable chair? No, the chair itself is great. It just... Okay. I think... I think baby's growing. So, now I... 
Now, I if we wanted to go through this chronologically, we would have a certain order that we would go through. But okay. I think it's more fun to just do it however we want to do it. So, okay. what do you think? Who do you want? Who do you want to go with first? Um, we'll, we'll end up going with all of them, I think. Right. Um. I mean, I'm very intrigued by Q. Mm -hmm. That has all three all new characters. Right. So, do you Whereas, think it's better to start with three all new characters, or should um, we check in with some of the people that we've known? I think we should check in with some people that we know. Okay. Um, do you think Diana's team would be better then to have Sigma and Phi? Sure, let's do that one. Okay. Okay. Can I get our feet wet? Each image you see here is a story fragment. Only one's available to you now, but more will unlock as the story unfolds. Select any unlocked fragment to continue the story. So this is what I mean why there's there's no linear progression. Mm -hmm. You progress through the story through fragments. Basically, you 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 progress through them <coughs> scene by scene. Okay. Yeah. When you find you are unsure how to control something in the game, click in the top right to open the control guide. Okay. Great. It's almost like those remember games when you're supposed to like pair up thing like cards that are turned over. Mm -hmm. That's what this feels like, where it's like we're gonna see a scene. Yeah. And then we'll jump to like another team and find their scenes and be like, oh, okay, so that meshes with these scenes over here. Right. Yeah. It so does. We'll go back to the coin flip. It is less terrifying than Time the last choose, game. Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. Carlos has a ponytail. Now, do we still get to choose as Carlos? Interesting, even though we picked D team. So we'll do blue this time. Yeah. Interesting, so we still get to make a choice for Carlos. That is weird. It's blue. Okay, so we lost the coin toss. So it's so it's red every time. Look how sad Diana looks. That's why I told you red. Yeah. Uh. Thanks, boobs. Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong. <laughs> Carlos. He also kind of looks like Quentin. Thinking? Hey, wait a second. Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is. Birdman. So, what now? You should know already. You were wrong, so the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? At least six. It's possible there may be more than that. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before we begin. <coughs> Bless you. Sleep? When next you wake, asleep? You fell asleep? <laughs> Forget. But why? There's no point in telling you now. You won't remember anything in a moment. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> I love that you don't see any gas or anything. So, so they do that a lot in this game, I remember. There's a lot of, I think it's a budget thing. There's a lot of like ceiling shots and stuff. Mm. We can get to hear Carlos say like, I know you or whatever he said. You are. You, you are. The virus, you gotta stop the pandemic. Wow, what a dramatic intro. It really is. I'll tell you though, my favorite of any of these games is. Yeah. We all know. <laughs> Specifically, the second one. Specifically, the second one. Yeah. I really liked the third one. I think. I think that one's my favorite. V three. Yeah. I mean, I I think V three is my favorite too. But also the first one's really good. I don't know. They're all so good. I mean, we've already covered this extensively in our playthroughs and stuff, but... Uh, v, the, my problem with V3 is that, like, the last two chapters are, like, 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. But then, like, the first four chapters, I was Carlos, just like... Carlos. Yeah. You know. Akane. What? We're C-team now, oh, interestingly. What the hell's going on? Oh, wait, no, no, we're not, actually. You brought all of us here. No! It's not me. 
Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. His name is You'll Eric. Need to take it all out on the kid. He would Mira. be an Eric. Mira. I what Mira. This is. And that's Diana. Yes. Diana. Okay. It's better that you don't force it off. Why do you say that? You should listen to her. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Grace. That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane. Junpei. Oh my God. Why is he such a dick? So this is one year after 999. Who's this? I am Zero. I think you learn why he's acting. Zero. He's acting like such a dick. The second. Let me make one thing clear. This is zero two. This is a recording. So don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a fork in the road. Normally she'd run down the right path. But for some reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, I asked, Why did you come this way today? This was her reply. Because there was a snail. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair. Wow, thanks, bud. Think? What the hell Riveting is all this story. It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment. Only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? As you can see, this place is divided into three sections Carlos, Akane, and Junpei. You three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C-Team. Your leader shall be Carlos. Next is <laughs> They Zero love- Dude. You they love zooming in on their faces while they're just like- will be Q-Team. As evidenced by the name, the leader is Q. The leader is hey, Q. Wait! Is this a joke? And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Ward D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D team. Oh. You may wander as you like, as long as you remain within your respective wards. There is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. And an aesthetic to the future to erase your memories will be interesting. Erase your memories. Every 90 minutes. Yeah. So that's why it's like fragment okay. gameplay. Yeah. That makes more sense. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. Hmm. 12, 10. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hallway with an elevator. Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. There's no other way out. The door is easy enough to open. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. That's why he says six people have to die. Right. <laughs> blunter terms, if six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and we'll be able to open the X door. Okay. <laughs> this is bullshit. One caveat. The door remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close. And never open again. Oh yes. With 
this information surely sit with you at this point of thinking? How can I kill six people? What? N no one would... I'll give you one opportunity. No one. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Do you see the computer in the corner of the room? The team names and their newfound enemies will be displayed on that monitor. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team <laughs> gets one vote. Yeah, the right. The leader must submit it for the group. The deadline is 13.30. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized two votes. The group of two or more votes will lose. Every member of that team will be executed. This is the decision game, a game of fate. Wait, so we have the to start by trying to execute each other? And the human race hang in the balance. Now, I mean, if we want to, we can stalemate this. If we if we can somehow coordinate, but we can't communicate with the other team. Because we're all already separated, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all separated. But if there was some way to, like, if C votes for Q, Q votes for D, D votes for C, then no majority vote, nobody gets executed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Who do you want to play as? Um. Okay, so we can choose each time after each. I think so. Here, let's let's see. Okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So see, we've got a new a new fragment. Okay. Right? So it can travel between. And we can teams. yeah, and you can okay. you can travel like this. So. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do let's do C team, and then we'll do Q. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. See, and it'll, it'll tell you where you can jump to. Cool. I feel like the music is still kind of loud. It is. I turned it like like I like halved the volume. Execution. Oh. I like how they've got 999 and VLR soundtrack. That looks so much like uh uh Danganronpa, the <laughs> first game. Yeah. Wow, thanks for showing us all all these rooms. P -p -p pantry. Thank you for showing us all the rooms in your entire building. So oh wait, he doesn't time. have a ponytail? Yes. Wait, where are we? Checked everywhere we could. Rec room. See like I this is what I mean. Like Yeah. Okay. We're not going through in chronological it's order, so zero said, huh? I have no idea what's There's happening no right now. Get out. Except by opening the X door. Fifty minutes left until the vote deadline. Okay, so we just Tell lost thirty minutes. Vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C team gets two votes automatically. Okay. We'll okay, so so they just explored the building, basically. Hey, yeah. Do you think this could be part of the experiment? Decom's whole psychological test. Nope. What? Why? That masked guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then BAM! Or maybe... There's a bunch of different ways. Only there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but I thought, why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C-Team could vote for D-Team, D-Team for Q-Team, and Q-Team for C-Team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. Right. A three-way tie. A and no one would have to die? How do we make sure they know to do it? Come on, Akane. Start Esperin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start Esperin. Well, they, they need somebody for her to communicate with, though. Hey, oh, right. There has to be a receiver. They have to have... Yeah, they have to have another Esper. Five, which... Five. Fi fine Sigma are Espers. That's why they're 
able to even do this. Uh, it's not working. So we have to assume that the other hey, team has Connie, espers. Uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? Don't even. <laughs> I love that he's just like. The game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end, and something about two people. I this treat too. Figuring out treat. If it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared for. Either way, mm. it doesn't make sense. Hey, uh, anyone know what this thing could be? A box. What's inside of it? Maybe some kind of a white smoke. Force quit box. A tomate You've heard of it, Carlos? Hiroshima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says force quit box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what, though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero would put something that easy here? Right. It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. That could actually be a problem. <laughs> maybe don't touch it. Yeah, maybe don't touch the force quit box. Oh, gosh. So, what now? What can we do? Maybe we should just get this voting business over with. Junpei. No, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Junpei has the... Um... Uh, disappointed Killian Murphy face. Oh, he does? Yeah, where he's just like... What's that? What's a meme? What's a meme? <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you want Carlos to ask? Who is Zero? What is Zero's purpose? What is your relationship? Who is Zero? Ooh. Oh, okay. Who no fun. Is zero? I know. Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask, who is the second Zero instead? Then that means there has to have been a first one. Yeah, because right? Akane is zero. Yeah, right. There is. You know him? Sorta. Of. I brought it up earlier. A bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akane and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. It's gotta <laughs> be connected. Just... Please. No, she's like, it's not though. <laughs> it's Leave not. Me. So for the first time, right. if it's to be believed, Akane is not involved with this nonary game. Okay. Well, it's not even a nonary game. It's the decision game. Right. What's your relationship? You want to ask that one the spicy question? Yeah, let's, let's spice it up. Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. How do you know all Who this, Carlos? Sigma. You mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Oh, the so he works. Spreads fast. So Carlos and Sigma both worked at so the facility here. Whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Carlos, you're over your head here. Yeah. You're, you're, to this circus. you're out of your league. You it before? I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500000 if we joined up. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, Color me surprised. I think it's 500,000 yen. No need of money. Sorry. A what? Didn't you say it you're a firefighter? A reminder for Bell. A really Ruining the recording. No. You faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. 
I just have good instincts. It doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. They're pretty good at telling me which path has death at the end. Sorry, who, who, what? Who's good at telling him that? His feet? His instincts. His instincts, okay. Yeah, okay, it so, no, feet, no, no, so I know, like, no, 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 trust me, I understand. <laughs> this game, it does a lot of random shots. Here's their feet, here's a ceiling fan. It'll do that all the time, That's and you'll really be like, weird. and they'll say something, you'll be like, are you talking about the ceiling fan right now? And then you're like, oh, no, of course right, not. Right, right, right. They just have filler shots like okay, that. Okay, gotcha, thank you. Yeah, it's bizarre, His but you'll instincts. get used to it. I need to get better at listening, okay. Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think if we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, six billion people will die. Yes. What Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term reverie syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Reverie Syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah. Kinda. Do you have it? So wait, so what is reverie syndrome? Like you, you it's, stop responding she just to said, stimuli? I wish there was some way I could pause. Do you hear something? Okay, that's fine. Maybe there is some way. I don't Over know. there. It just she just said you stop responding to a variety of stimuli, which could mean anything. It really <gasps> could. Where did you come from? Good Looks like you made it here using this vent. Does that mean it's connected to the surface? Hmm, I don't think so. A vent to the surface would defeat the purpose of a bomb shelter. So he came from another ward then. It's too dark, I can't see anything. But ward Q is down that direction, right? Right, because they're ward C. You can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. Someone likes cake too much. Let's cut off Junpei's arm. There you go. He should be able to fit through then. <laughs> hey, Mira! Great time Eric! to to joke. Yeah, yeah. No answer, huh? <clears throat> well, hey, see if Dog is carrying a you away note. From DCOM too? But why the dog? Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there. Baloney. You really think Zero do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case, it holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? I still think this could work. We can use it. Write it now. Wait a sec. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing. <clears throat> and write the plan down. Here Is that a doily? Yes. Oh. I found them on the counter well, of the bar. Yeah. But there's something Same thing. On it. Oh, uh, I did that. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Oh! You're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent. I did not catch that the dog's name was Gab. Yeah. I thought they, they said Cab. Yeah, yeah, so no. The dog's name is Gab. Well. At first I thought they said lose. cat, and I was Why like, don't we give it a shot? <laughs> what did you throw? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Picked it up with the coaster. It was over there on the counter. 
Why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles too? Maybe next time he comes back, he'll be a hot dog. It was would a joke. Not, would you not joke about Gab like that? Jimmy is so annoying in this game. Oh my God. What? It's a joke. Five minutes left. Well, we toss in some ketchup and pickles Gab's too. Not come okay. back. <laughs> Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit, I know. Random ceiling shot. I like the shuffle hey, sounds. Yeah, they don't want to show do. them moving. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the gab letter? On the gab oh, letter. The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. C team is voting for D team, so D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. So the question is, yeah. what are we gonna vote? So what? D team. So vote for Q team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and. Yep, Q team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D team, and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos. Vote for QT. No, you can't! Decision time! Time to decide! So another thing about choosing Q team is what if they all think that that is their plan and so yeah. they swap it all. Yeah, so they swap it so we could still tie it that way. Right. Yeah. It's hard to say. Cause we haven't we, we we have no contact with them, so we have no idea what they're voting. Right. We also don't know if they even found the gab letter. Yeah, yeah. Which is such a funny little phrase. The Gab letter. For all we know, Gab like walked through the vent and then like stood there and panted for a second and then went and took a nap. Right. And they never even opened the medication capsule. Right. Like what if Gab couldn't even get to them? What is this menu thing? Oh, <gasps> there's options here. It reset. Look, it reset it. What's the point? How weird. It must have just needed you to do it from It needed here. me to do it here. What's status? Oh, this tells you who's alive. Oh, nice. C-A-J-Q-M-E. Mira Eric. D-P-S. Damage per second? Haha. <laughs> oh. Department of Pu Public Safety. So, decide, choose who to execute. What do you think? D? Keep our word or Q? Should we Reverse be spicy? psychology. Should we be spicy? Why is Junpei is spicy so Junpei far? Is Junpei is so spicy. Junpei's just like, yeah, fuck Q team. We don't know anybody over there. Yeah. <laughs> should we be spicy like Junpei? Or should we keep our word? I don't know. Um. Let's let's keep our word. Okay. I'm ready to go either way, so. Let's keep our word and see what happens. Your vote has been accepted. Your vote oh. has been accepted. I was worried you weren't going to do it, Carlos. You'll see, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, the, we don't even know if our note reached balance. the other teams or not. And even if yeah. it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you will win. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. 
When your next wag, those who survived, they'll be able to regret the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. That's so poopy. I know, right? Uh, I do like Akane's little sweater dress, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Okay, so that was... Now, now we haven't unlocked a new scene yet. Right. But if we if we select this, like we see we this is this keeps track of what we've done, right? Uh-huh. So we can come back to it. So let's go to another one. Maybe we do D team and then Q team. So we haven't done Q team at all. No, we haven't done D team either, really. We we selected D team for for this, but it unlocked it for everyone, I think. Oh, is that why it's coincide? Yeah, here, wait. Let me let me check. Yeah, see. Okay. Yeah, so we didn't actually okay. play. I think it didn't matter what team you chose there. Okay, gotcha. So, they yeah. They just wanted you to practice. Yeah. Okay, it was gotcha. Just, like, getting you familiar with the UI and stuff. Okay. So, yeah, we think this this one? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do D team and Q team and then we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. And we can control the votes this way. That makes sense. When a curious hate oozes calamity. Hmm. So, a moment when hate becomes calamity, huh? Oh wow, they've got a different message. I wonder what that means. Beats Ooh. me. Oozes. Maybe it's not supposed to have a meaning. Huh? It's an anagram. You That's what I was about the, the other into one. another sentence. Well, remember Why do you think it's an that anagram? Ninth Lion Ate I've the Sun thing from VLR? Like this before. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, because Fi's nice. really good at those, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, she like figured it out as soon as she saw it or whatever. Remember her talking about Schrodinger's cat? Yes. Yeah. What are you looking at? A box. <laughs> what kind of box? <laughs> Thanks, Sigma. Well, I'm looking into it because I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's the force quit looks box. Like something's written on it. Force quit box. It looks like it had a bulge mm. in the back. Did you see That's that? That's interesting. Mm -mm. I see a keyboard on it too. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. Don't touch it. You don't have a password. Hello. I shouldn't have thought it would be that easy. We need a hint. Maybe Wait. it says something on the underside. Nope, won't budge. Is it heavy? Heavy doesn't even begin to cover it. <laughs> I doubt it's made out of anything from Earth. Well, I doubt it's up made. There, Sigma. What do you say? My body still got it. <laughs> I'll just give My it a try. My body still got it. Does that mean that he remembers being old? Yeah, it's his, it's his old lying. consciousness. See, I told you. Yeah, this is old. This is old Sigma and young Sigma's body. This is the map for Ward D, right? Looks like it. I think, if 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 I understand everything right, yeah, you know, right. It's like, and we can go wherever we want, so long as it's within this ward? Yes, that's what Zero said. I guess so they're gonna do their little exploration. It's gonna show us the room montage, just like with the other team. Well, I'm glad it kind of tells us more about what they're doing, because I love that with the other one, they were just like, here are the rooms. And it was yeah, like, here oh, are the rooms, okay. and then, yeah. Whatever. Get wrecked. <laughs> Uh oh, robots. Yeah, remember the golems yes. is what they were called in VLR. Yes. Yeah, which Luna turned out to be a golem. Right. All right. Go we checked all the rooms from top to bottom, but you didn't find any exits. Obviously. I we learned like a bomb shelter too. after all. Yeah. If there were several exits, it defeat the purpose it was built for. 
So Zero told the truth. Then opening the X door is the only way out. Diana's eyes are like ridiculously blue. I know. Her eyes remind me a lot of the girl I knew in Mira! high school. Eric! Can you hear They're, like, me? like the same shape. Carlos! Akane! Tenmyoji! He calls no him Tenmyoji. Point. We wouldn't hear a drunk toga party at full volume on the other side. <laughs> I think we need six passwords to get this door to open, right? Yeah, that X pass thing. For every one person who dies, one password will be revealed. But can't Is we that cheese it? True, though? Sigma, why don't you try dying once? I politely but firmly refrain. What about you, Diana? Hey, uh, no. Figured. Hey. So I guess Diana, Carlos, Mira, and Eric, and the, the, yeah, Q um, are all employees of this test site? Yeah, I'm not understanding that. Decom or whatever, I think. Which I think Phi, Sigma, Junpei, and Akane all like infiltrated. They're like, we want to work here too, I guess. I like how we're not playing one character. No, yeah, it's it's cool. Yeah. Like I said, there's some there's some cool things about this game, but yeah. yeah. The way Sigma talks. Yeah, let's do it. He talks this like an old guy. Somewhat rude of me to say, but the way you talk, Sigma, is um a little unusual. Forgive him. The age of his mind and his body are completely different. Oh, he mentioned that back at Decom. That his consciousness had come back from the year 2074. Sigma, you talk so much. That's correct. Sigma, Sigma well, you're that's so why weird. I know what will happen in the future? <laughs> I must have spent the past five he sounds days warning nuts. Me. If nothing changes, mankind will be destroyed. So he's been banging that drum for a while. I infiltrated Decom to stop all that from happening. What about Junpei? Is this true? Well, would you believe me if I said that it was? Then why are all of us trapped in this strange place? If you know the future, then you could have prevented it. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. Right. Okay. Sure. I mean, I guess we can just ask all of them, because... Yeah. Zero is. Do you guys know who Zero is? No, they haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. What are you... There's one more thing for sure. Think about it. Why was Zero's speech to us pre-recorded? There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. Mm -hmm. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or they're or, one of us. Zero is among us. Or maybe they're just busy. But like, remember the coin flip scene? Zero was standing there with the nine of them. And... Right, but they don't remember that, right? Oh, uh, they don't remember that. Well... Because they passed out. Yeah, and their memories got erased. Mm -hmm. So only, only we the player know that. Yeah. Interesting. Do you think someone will come help us? Like who? Maybe the decom experiment staff? Sorry, but that's pretty unlikely. What if it was Remember? seven? The staff oh, yeah, station seven. in decom <laughs> can't communicate with us right now. The simulation is attempting to stay true to an actual Mars mission. It's at least six months between Earth and Mars. In that time period, Earth will have rotated halfway around the sun, which means... By the time the spaceship reaches Mars, the Earth is behind it. With the star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the lead-up. We've been doing experiments for the past five days. Have they, have they only the been there for five will days? Be established on December, 31st, December 26th, right? That's when they went back to. With more than 10 hours. Oh. There's no point in hoping for a rescue to come before then. Pretty sure the DCOM staff won't notice any problems until that time. <laughs> you guys are like siblings. You're totally in sync.
All right, Diana. That's so funny. <laughs> That's like so funny. Have to happen to me. Oh no, we've walked in on I angst. I never listened to Rebecca. 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 She's the head nurse at the hospital where I worked. Oh right, you did say you were a nurse. I'll come in handy, I'm sure. I joined the decom experiment because Rebecca suggested it to me. She told me that they were searching for a nurse willing to participate. Well, to be honest, there is another reason why I decided to join. Oh, we're not gonna find out. Oh, here's the dog. Gab! Why is Gab here? I think he came through the vent. See anything? <laughs> Look at it. Look. It's too dark. You're up, Fi. <laughs> you want me to go in there? That's that clearly ain't possible. Yeah. I'm tired. Sure? I'm looking oh, well, for a myself. treat. Do you have a treat um, for me? My boobs are D's. Your pants are on fire. It's true. Seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. Growing is natural. You were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? What is this? Is that a coaster? Something's written on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting oh, Q for team. D team. Got it. So D yeah. team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. And someone else wrote. Q team, got it. I get it. By spreading out the votes, they're suggesting we make it a tie. Looks like Q team agreed. Seems so. Hmm. I guess Gab passed through Ward We'll, we'll note that's Ward the real Q situation when we play there. their segment. Right. It'll work. Now none of the teams will have to die. Hmm. Then we'll never I leave. Wonder about that. Yeah. Right. What? <clears throat> the deadline to vote is in three minutes. Damn. So we have to vote we don't for have Q much team. Time. We need to well, head over to the voting device. I'm wondering if. I think probably what's going to end up happening is we'll... Because, again, I forget. I don't what know. What exactly did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Is we'll have you to, like, uh, is planning to see people us? die, get their X-Pass, and no, then jump to it. another timeline, That's what and then just use all six X-Passes with people alive. Gap. Right. They'd only have to decide to vote for So we should just start killing people then now? You mean... There's a I mean, that I don't know. Will betray us. Maybe they're saying they'll vote for DT, but actually vote for QT. This is an interesting twist on like the betray ally thing from VLR. Choose mm -hmm. Q -team. If you think it's a good idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm well, just saying. It's a possibility. It's kind of ruined here though, because we can control all three votes. Vote right. Yeah. That's not saying like, should we what just should start? Killing teams. The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q teams voting for C team. So we have no choice but to choose Q team. Otherwise, our single vote could cause the death of all of C team. Honestly, Junpei is so annoying. I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> yeah, you want to vote for? Who, who are we voting for? Um, so we we voted correctly for the first, or like we kept well, we our vote, word. C team vote for D team. D team's voting for Q team, so we vote for C team if we're on board with the spreading out the votes plan. No, we vote for Q team. If we're for spreading the votes, because Q votes for C team. C team voted for D team. Q team voted for C team. So C wait. so Carlos. Wait, wait. Votes so we vote for, for Q Diana. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, Diana votes for Q and Q votes for Carlos. Yeah, so do you want to just vote for C team and see what happens? Yeah, kind of. You know, All right, do let's it. do it. Let's do it. Let's be let's be reckless. Let's go with Phi's evil plan. Yeah. Bye, Junpei. Your vote has been accepted. Why, Diana? Why did you <laughs> vote for C-Team? Oh no, he's upset. I, 
I don't know. We made them what? do it. I don't know. <gasps> I have no idea why I voted for C-Team. What are you talking about? But it's true. Please believe me. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well as the next guest. Did she just detect our work. interference? Oh, wouldn't that be funny? The team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. <laughs> that's a that's a very soft way of putting exactly it. As I commanded. Very gentle. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, Wait. those who survived will be able to regret the decision they made. <clears throat> As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. I think I missed that the first time you said it. Yeah, you said it to yeah. the other team. Yeah. So, as Q Yeah, because when I looked over at you, you were just like... Yeah, like, he just said <laughs> the exact same thing. All news. Yeah, so if... <laughs> if we play as Q team and we don't vote... Is that an option? No, we have Damn. to vote. It's the decision game. That's right. Interesting. So it saved us on vote C team here. So then. Because so could C, C team vote for D team, right? So D and C have voted for each, each other. So Q has to decide. Oh, so Q which decides one. which one dies. Let's yeah. go. So we get to decide <laughs> if we want to keep Akane and Junpei or if we want to keep Phi and Sigma. Yeah. I vote I vote for keeping Phi and Sigma. Okay, so you want to just kill Junpei and Akane, the protagonists of the series. Yes. Okay. Because Akane Junpei dies. Is so Great. annoying. Well, it's, Akane... it's, it's not like she hasn't died before. I like how this one just jumps us into the room. She's she like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dies every single game. So, what's this going to be? No different. Pod room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> bio lab. There's always a bio lab or something like yeah. that. Yeah. This is weird. There should be another room around here somewhere. For some reason, I thought it said Bilbo. Let first. me see it. Uh, hey! Shut up. He's got the right to see it too. Yeah. What a yeah. butt. Thank you. Yeah, Q team is annoying. It's pretty pointless to hang out here, kicking our heels. Stupid Let's go back angle. To the lounge. Who does she remind me of? Mira reminds me of someone. Like what is in this? real life? Yeah. Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. There's always virus. a letter on the what virus? column. Yeah. Yeah, they don't know anything about anything that's happening. They don't, they don't have like a time traveler with them, the to vote? our knowledge. What will we do? Maybe Q's. Don't ask me. Do you think but Q's if we quirk? Don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Because yeah. this but, can't be Quark, right? But Quark Even wasn't sent back in time. Voted for D -team, right. And D-Team did the reverse. If we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q-Team would be killed. I suppose that's are true more if more than safe. Real. Yeah. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? The DCOM staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Oh, <laughs> I get it. You're right. Aww. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Mm. No. Oh, the denial is so sad. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me. Uh, stop. Stop. You'll break my neck. Damn. It's really on there. Wait. I see something on the side hey, of Eric. this thing. Yeah, he sucks. What the hell? Isn't it a password input? Does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head will explode. Uh, hey! Really? Who are you? A 
I don't know. Of course I you don't, don't know. remember. Oh. There's always a character like this in 999. Here. Are you saying Or in, in Zero Escape. Like, um, remember K? Maybe. In the last game, that was the, the armored character mm -hmm. that turned out to be Akane. Right. Could I ask you something? What? <laughs> They're both like that on the bar. I was wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? Eric, you're I so weird. Know. I know, he's such I a dick. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? <laughs> Zero said, it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. That's yeah. that heart ripper, yeah? Yeah. Rumor is they killed 18 people all in the past few years. March 15th, uh, she's so happy. 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. What? The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. It happened again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, on July 29th... Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Frankly, I'd be responding the same way. Yeah. Oh my god, of course you know about the serial killer. Right, you Mystery knew all the, child. all the data. Yeah, you young child. Weird I helmet kid. Where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know the that, kid's like, I'm a but little distracted. where exactly? Yeah, right. Uh... I doubt we're very far Stumped. from DCOM. Uh, oh. DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. So it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? Uh-huh. We all lived together in that compound for five days. C team and D team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. <gasps> I think his name was Gab. Oh. That's right, he watched not the show. You. you weren't there. It's very suspicious. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data, mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Oh, what made you sign up? <laughs> Tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's mm. it? Well, maybe not entirely. So they knew each other before? Well, yeah, we're about to find out, I guess. <clears throat> Mira, Eric, what's going on between you two? Yeah. Going on? Uh, Eric? Uh, well. Are you in love? Idiot! No, uh, we're not! We're not? Well, we're not not, but... Wait, what? Mira, tell me it ain't so. Yeah. Okay, well, we didn't learn anything then. <laughs> Moving you know, on. I've been trying to figure something out for a while. <laughs> what is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Oh, this is the so Force Quit what, box. You think there's a sort yeah. of tease inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Stop! What if Touché. it's some kind of bomb? <laughs> a bomb? 
Um, hey, that's what Sigma I City don't couldn't. Think it is. Oh, something. Didn't he say it was like back. unbelievably heavy? Yeah, he said it, he thought it was down. built from something so otherworldly. Yeah, this kid's just shaking it. Force quit box. I guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Maybe... Your life. See, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. What was that sound? It came what? from that way. Like, I'm out of here. Oh, let's go! Towards the sound? Gab? Oh, oh there's How Gab. You, you came uh, through the vent. Gab wants a treat. Give it's him Gab dark. a treat. I can't see anything. Give me a treat. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will ya? <laughs> See? You didn't Aww. have this stupid thing on your head. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. <laughs> Is that a coaster? <laughs> check this out. <laughs> oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Don't you spread? get it? I get it. <laughs> huh? If each spread. team ends up with one <laughs> vote each, the whole thing is a tie and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay. Too bad we already screwed Let's it. Do it. <laughs> Little does he know. Wait. Why should we wait? We're being spicy. Well, what if this message hasn't been delivered to D Team yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects toward C. I doubt Gab's made his way toward D yet. No. We need to figure out how to notify D Team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? A pen. And Gab's cheese. eating good. And cheese. Gab's eating some cheese. <laughs> and I bear. Bet, I bet Belle would like some cheese. Oh, I wonder what she would oh, get. Oh, she would love that cheese. She think it, it'd probably make her throw up. Oh, she would hate it. Yeah. It has a she high fat like, content. She would like eating it. She's not too well with doing? high fat content. <laughs> That's right. No avocado for Belle. <laughs> Bell's our dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yeah. But C and D aren't. We just need to take the cheese and... They are, because Gab went from D to C. No. Gab goes all from you, Gab. D to Q. Think it'll work? Because C sure gets the note will. with Q's response. No, D gets Q's no. Did, hold on, who sent it originally? Was it C? C okay, sent that's it. right. I wonder if Gab confused. made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note? Mm. What? You think right. she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team is a trap. Trap? It's a trap! They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline. Done and done. <laughs> the vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! <laughs> Stop bullying the kid, er Eric you is weirdo! Such a dick. Such a whiny little butt. All right, so C team, right? Because yeah, that's yeah. Right. Let's execute C team. Yeah, let's do it. We're troublemakers. That's right. We just want to see the chaos. C for chaos. Everyone's like, we've waited 
almost four years for Your this. Vote has been yeah. Accepted. Following the note, huh? Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. If this plan doesn't work, then there are two outcomes that could happen. Either the three and C team die, or we're the ones executed. No, there's one more possibility. Yeah? It's a joke. Someone is definitely tricking us. So it is you! Yeah, it's exhausting. It's so annoying. Sleep well, as the next game will begin with the win. Sleep well. Don't let the bad bugs bite. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. That's how her face is. She's like, yeah. Yeah, it's just nothing behind those eyes, huh? When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision. I still understand how her jacket is comfortable. As a result of the film. Hmm. Pleasant dreams. Pleasant dreams. Pleasant dreams. I love that she always falls on her back. Yeah, so you can see her boobs. Well, if she fell on her side, then they'd be all squished. <gasps> What's happening? Oh, oh, now we're finding out what happened. We get to watch them die. We get to watch them die, she says. <gasps> do they have collars on? Hey, Akane. Oh. Akane! They do! Carlos. They do, they have head collars on. Hey, what the hell is this? It's no use! It won't come off! And now for the voting results. The team who received two votes is you, CT. As <laughs> <laughs> according to the rules, CT will be executed. Screw this! How could this happen? I feel bad for it's Carlos. Diana. That bitch yeah. betrayed us! All is necessary for How did he know? That's true. Damn it. Damn it. There's no way I'm dying here. Please don't. Please. May you rest in peace. To see my father be on Flinty Spirai Bracano. Oh, shut the fuck up. Uh, look, at look at Carlos. <laughs> Does it explode their necks? I think so, yeah. Oh, there's our answer. It decapitates them. Whoa. That's a bummer. That's crazy. Bye, Junpei. <laughs> Let's see what C Team looks like. Oh. oh my god. This is what I mean. This game is like... Holy Akane shit. has a chainsaw in this scene up here. Oh look at look, my look at this. That is wild. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's really funny. Oh my god, we got so many Oh look, the kid has a chainsaw. Because a uh, or a leaf blower? A leaf blower. Is that what that is? It's a crossbow. Oh, is it? Yeah, the, yeah, the kid has a leaf blower. <laughs> well <laughs> it's time for some landscaping. Evidently I need glasses. There's a gun in this one. Holy what? So many weapons. I know, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and save. All right, so. <laughs> considering file two is like 20 hours long, you can kind of see oh, right. how many, you know, were. Uh... How long it takes. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. So the, we just did those and then now we're here and then now we'll be doing all of this. This is still less overwhelming Ooh, it is, than the tree. Yeah, the the VLR tree is about as as overwhelming as it gets. I yeah. remember you showing it to me the first time, and I was just like, "Yeah, we're gonna see all of that." Yeah, right. Here, hang on one second. Let me see if uh, oh, here we are. <laughs> yeah, we've gone full screen. We are now full screen. We are now full screen. Welcome. Hello. So. It's uh that's the end of part one and now podcast mode. Yay! So, what are your thoughts so far? 
Um, I liked getting spicy at the end. <laughs> you, liked, you like you liked being evil. <laughs> it was really funny. Death to C team. It was cool to see that that <clears throat> unlocked a bunch of scenes, though. That was yeah. wild. I think it's like no matter how you vote in the beginning, it unlocks all the other scenes and stuff. Gotcha. Um. But it's good that we got introduced to C team, Q team, and D team, especially Q team because we didn't know anybody on that on that team prior right. to this. I do like that all the people in charge of the teams are new characters. Yeah, like I like that the majority of the characters are new. Yeah, because I was worried it was gonna be like, you know, Sigma, Phi, Akane, and Junpei, and then like. Seven and Alice and like they're no, somehow no, 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 gonna no. like mix everyone up. No, there's uh there's four returning characters and five new characters. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good mix. Yeah, but it is it's interesting that they don't remember, or at least was it Diana's team who didn't remember, uh, zero, flipping the coin. Yeah, they made that comment that like it's. Either Zero is one of them or it has already died, right? Yeah, yeah. Which <clears throat> neither is true from what we can tell. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, Just we're not really sure we on the time. We're not really clear on the timeline, but yeah. Because it could be another situation where it's like Clover, who's now 97 for some reason. Like, it could be, you know. You think it's 97-year-old Clover? No, I don't. But you know what I mean? Like, it's like some weird twist yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, with, with the time jumping and stuff, you know, anything's possible. So, clearly the Zero is aware of what happened a year ago. And mm -hmm. it's kind of doing a copycat thing. Um, uh, but they're yeah. calling it the decision game. Yes, the decision game. Which is interesting, as opposed to like You have to you have to assume that whoever this zero is, that they're associated with free of the soul. Mm-hmm. Because they're like it's not a coincidence that they're here doing this at the site where Radical Six gets released. Right. So unless they're trying to prevent Radical Six from being released by playing the game in some weird, twisted fashion. It's Akane again for oh a third God. time. Akane Zero again. But she already said it's not her. I know. I like I like how it, it kind of... I don't really like Akane very much. <sighs> She's very annoying. I liked her in 999 because it was like, oh, I get it. You want to save your own skin. But then VLR, I was just like, I don't like you anymore by the end of it. And mm -hmm. it's it's kind of funny in this one, her being like, I don't understand what's going on. And it's just like, oh, yeah, now you get to feel how everybody else felt during your other two games, huh? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Completely helpless and scared, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe that's why I was so satisfied watching them die. Junpei and Akane. You know, Junpei was being a little dick. They're I, both very annoying. I have, a, I have a theory why he was being such a such an... A jerk. Is he trying to impress Akane? No, I think he's mad that Akane. I bet you. I bet you Akane just like ghosted him or something. Hmm. After the events of of nine nine nine, and this is maybe the first time he's seeing her or something like a year later. And he was like, oh, but he so didn't... I save your life, and then this is how you treat me. Right. That Basically, could... he's being he's being a little incel about it. But he's That's not just directing it at her. Yeah, yeah, he is just kind of like, whatever about the whole thing. Yeah, he's even acting that way towards Zero, which is like, if there's anyone to not act that way towards, I feel like I'd be your captor. You don't mess with Zero. <laughs> I do like that Zero's wearing the plague, the plague mask. So they're yeah. aware, that tells us that they're aware of the plague that they're about to unleash. Right? Because, like, a okay, plague uh... mask... Well, yeah, yeah, that could be, it could be representative, yeah. Like, it just, it seems like it would be too much of a coincidence for them to not have some connection to the release of, mm. what's it? Six? Radical Six. Radical Six. I was going to say Resistance Six. Also, but... they say six people have to die. Mm-hmm. At least. Yeah. That's kind of a six uh, mm -hmm. theme, so. Right. Okay. Well, um, 
yeah, I think that's going to do it for part one, but uh, we'll be back with part two. Yeah. And there won't be much of a wait for it because by the time you're watching this, we'll have recorded the entire game. Isn't that wild? Yes, so which I think I said that at the end of VLR. That's how we're going to do CTD. Mm -hmm. It's part, part of the reason why we haven't gotten around to it. Right. Which is good because I wasn't going to do that thing where like we were, we upload them as we record them and then there's like a month passes by where we just can't do it. Right. We can't afford that. Yeah. We got a tight deadline, people. Yes. So we're going to try and bust through this as fast as we can. Keep and that way we don't get spoiled by anything. Too. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. I remember the major events of the game, but I don't remember like a lot of the details I'm fuzzy on or like. <clears throat> I know I know some things about so certain people. And certain things that happen, but I don't remember like how they occur or like why or like links like that about mm -hmm. them like do you remember of... who q is the little kid yeah i remember who q is yeah okay i remember who q is and i want them to be like quark's I parent remember who zero is and i remember um yeah some very surprising things that happened too i'm excited oh excuse me i'm excited <laughs> yeah like i said um I'm I'm glad you weren't too jarred by the art style. Yeah, no, it, it's really not. I think it's because so much time has passed. Probably because I remember going into this Raptor VLR and that that opening coin flip scene. I was just like, yeah, like it, it is a bit like weird that they're all just kind of floating, you know, like that. Yeah, and there's a there's a lot of like zoom in cameras where they're just like, yeah, but I really didn't. I did not like the art in the second one. Really? Yeah, I just, there's something about it I just really, really didn't like. I much prefer this art. Really? Yeah. Wow. See, I, I like the style of the art, but I don't like the animations or the fact that it zooms in on them not moving or the fact that there's so many, like, ceiling shots. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. anytime it this shows them, like, moving or something, with with rare exceptions, it does a ceiling shot with the sound effects in the background, and then it shows them mm -hmm. afterwards, and that's like a budget cutting maneuver. Yeah, like, which is pretty clever, to be honest. It is pretty clever, but it happens throughout the entire game, and yeah, like it'll get after old. seeing a ceiling fan for like the ninetieth time, I'm just like, ugh, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. You couldn't have animated them running to the other side of the room. Come on, but or at least like show the other side of the room where they're headed. Yeah. Or, like, let them, like, fade in. That's a lot of what um, the Danganronpa games did. Remember when, like, it would show a new room and the characters would just kind of, like, fade in? Yeah. And they're, like, spots that they would stand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty a pretty elegant solution. Yeah, for it to just be like, and they're here now. <laughs> but, but Zero Escape has always been, like, going the extra mile with just, like, we're going to make their mouths move. Even in 999. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the second one that I just really didn't like the art style or the animation. Like, it just, the whole thing just drove me nuts. I That's think, part of the reason I had such a bad attitude about it. I think you just had a bad attitude. No, I did. And I think that's a large part why. Because, like, the game was already very overwhelming just to, like, see how it was structured. And then, like, the aesthetics of it were brutal for me so sorry i know for I your suffered. suffering i suffer she suffers so i suffered so We're lucky to have her here <laughs> it took this long for john to convince me <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah no I'm, I'm pumped to see what happened now that we've mercilessly murdered c team well, well, that's in one timeline. Right. That's the thing about this game is we're going to be hopping around to like, like you saw there were like a bunch of scenes that opened up. We're going to be hopping around. We'll, we'll try to like hop to similar scenes to try to try to keep some semblance of what's going on. But right. Yeah. And two, we'll be able to go back and like see the um other side of the decision. Right. That we could have made. I, Instead of killing C team, we'll be able to see if we like spread everything it's, around. It's it's I can't really remember. 
but okay. I I do remember I because I think I mean if you look at the flow chart like there's a bottleneck that we just hit so mm -hmm. um I I'm not sure how much it matters for that specific decision because I noticed that there are only two squares so you know how it was like a upside down Y. Mm. The little decision tree, so like you start at the top, and then there's the two. Oh yeah, for each one. Yeah. 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 Execution vote Q. Execution vote. Q. They won't be able to see. Yeah. But um, so the reason I bring that up is I noticed that there wasn't like four ultimate choices to see like what would happen if you killed each team and spread the votes around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this is structured a bit differently. It's not like yeah. linear like VLR is. Right, and so. you, you're not gonna be able to see the results of all possible decisions. I don't that think would so, be, it's like, very fragmented. So that's that's kind of one of the frustrating things about it, but also it makes it like pretty unique, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that there is like an element of free will in that regard. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda do whatever we want. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, well, you can see what happens in every single scenario. Yeah. Could you imagine programming that? All right. We'll see you guys later. Oh thanks for God. thanks for coming. So overwhelmed. Let me get you to bed. I know. I do need to go to bed. It's true. You're just gonna keep talk, 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 talk. Look, I'm Sigma. <laughs> Where do you think we are? <laughs> I can't do it. I know I have you, I have a good frown face. Yes, you've got you've got a very good frown face for for Sigma. It's like it's like that's the it's like that's the default expression. Yeah. And then his mouth just goes. Yeah. Rrr. He's like. It's like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> yeah. 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 It reminds me of uh, one of the Muppets, the orange one. Meep. We gotta go. This video is very long. Bye. I wasn't, I wasn't going to say yet. I'm going to go yet. The tail looks like my belly button. Okay, bye. Bye. See you in part two. Do we need a better outro? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs>